Hi everyone, welcome to another video and this is a project showcase video means it is going to be a teaser video. In this video we are quickly going to see how the code looks like and how to run this code in your PC and in the later part of this video we will actually run this code and see how it works. So let's start. So here is the code how it looks like and you can see that it, it is just going uh, to take 100 or 10 lines of code and we are done everything by using media pipe. To install media pipe in your PC, you just have to say pip install media pipe. That's all about it. Now let's see how you can access the code. To get this code, you will get a link in down description, which will look something like this. And if you really like my work, give this repository a star. It will really push me up. And you can get the code by the name of virtualseek.py file. You can access it from over here. All right, so now let's see the code in action. Just open the terminal in the same directory wherever the file is located and just say Python, the name of the file, which is virtualseek.py. Now, the moment you click enter over here, make sure to make this uh, player, whatever play player you want to seek the timeline virtually. So make sure it is visible on the screen. Do the same as I have done in this uh, part. So now you will see that a new uh, screenshot type window will open a uh, naming named of set point. Now it's important. Listen carefully. You just have to left click on the starting point of timeline and right click on the ending point of your timeline. So it is super important and it should be pin point. So make sure you do it correctly. Otherwise it is not going to track your timeline virtually. Now do the same as I have done in this video and once you right click a new window will appear and in this window you, your hand is going to be tracked and you just have to uh, take your this finger to the up and once you take this finger to the up it will wait for one second once the yellow circle squeezes down it will going to start tracking and start sweeping your uh, timeline as you can see in the frames. Uh, both of the hands work perfectly fine you can just go uh, in any direction you can stand so much beside from the camera it is going to work almost perfectly and also it is working at 30 frames per second now let us run for youtube and see how will it look like now do the same make player visible on the screen once you hit the command of python file.py and now again you just have to left click on the start of timeline and right click on the end of timeline once you do that a new window will appear showing you on the screen and now once you take your hand in the frame it will start tracking your fingers once you take your uh, the finger to the top then it will start going to track after one second once the yellow circle squeezes down meaning the radius of yellow circle goes down so enjoy this project i'll just uh, fast forward this to see uh, to judge how it works like and if you really enjoyed this project make sure to give this video a thumb up and make sure to subscribe for tutorial part of this video you're gonna see how it works and how actually to create this project and i'm super excited to take you through all that i hope you have enjoyed this project so that's it bye